Welcome back to the Gopher Pregame Show. Welcome back into the Gopher Pregame Show, everybody. Joined now by a very special guest, Maverick Baranowski here with us on set. And Maverick, uh, before we look ahead, let's take a quick look back. The game against Northwestern didn't play out the, guy, the way you guys wanted it. After looking at the film, studying what went, that, what went wrong, how do you take that and apply that to this week when you're getting ready to take on Louisiana? Yeah, that's a good question. So looking back on the film, obviously we weren't happy with the results of the game. We were able to learn a lot about our team, learn a lot about ourselves. I feel like it really gives us a good opportunity to go next week and respond to the result we got. We learned a lot on film about what we can do better, and now it's just time to go through uh, this week of practice and really apply everything we learned. What did you learn? We learned just like details are the big, big multiplier. Like everything we do matters, especially when you're going against a good team like them. They're going to really exploit those uh, mistakes, and we just got to correct those. You're taking on a Louisiana team that you guys haven't really seen much of over the years. When you study them, what stands out to you as you take on Louisiana? Yeah, so we've been studying them for the last couple of days, and what stands out is they're really athletic. They're an athletic team. They're well coached, and coming from the south, they're obviously going to be athletic, and it's a different style of ball uh, down there than in the Midwest. So I'm really looking forward to playing a southern team and. They have great athletes. Yeah, you mentioned it's an interesting style of ball because in their four games, they haven't scored fewer than 31 points in their four games. So you playing linebacker and being on the defensive side of the ball, is there an extra emphasis this week on trying to slow down a high-powered offense? Yeah, I mean, obviously we're trying to keep them to as uh, little points as possible, and I feel like they're a high-scoring offense the way they play the last few weeks, and obviously we're going to try to manage that and take away a few things that we uh, see on film as we're still going through the week to adjust to some of the things they run, but we're definitely going to try to slow them down and stop them. I want to take you back to the season opener against Nebraska. We find out that Cody Lindenberg was not going to be playing. You step in and make your first start of the season, and you've been playing ever since. What was that like, knowing that you were going to be making your first start against Nebraska? Yeah, it was uh, it was really exciting. Um, the good thing about Cody, um, Mariano being back, Derek LeCaptain being there, those are three guys who all play the same position as me. And over time, that's three guys who know the defense better than anyone. And having them on the sideline with me is invaluable. Like, it's just like those guys helping me game plan, get my mind right. And I feel like they played a big role in getting me ready to start my first game and not be overly nervous and just being able to go in there confident. How do you feel about your performance so far? I feel like um, I've been playing hard. I've been doing the right things, but um, obviously never be satisfied. And I just want to keep progressing, especially just getting more comfortable with the speed of the game. Uh, I feel like that'll come naturally. Now, you and I were talking off camera just a moment ago. You told me you're from around Daytona Beach, Florida. How does one end up from Daytona Beach to the University of Minnesota? What made you want to choose the Gophers? Yeah, that's a common question I get. Um, I'd say the big thing for me was just the culture and the coaching staff. I mean, I always checked out uh, defenses when I was in recruiting, and I obviously a defensive player, and that was something important. And the detail that Coach Rossi and the staff puts into everything we do was super important. And a lot of those things are overlooked by other coaching staffs, and that was something I picked up on recruiting between my parents and I. And that really stood out and then obviously the row the boat culture that just like meant a lot to my family and it was something that other schools don't pay attention to like serving and giving mm -hmm. as much as coach Fleck does and that's something that stood out for me yeah why did that why do you think that resonated with you and your family I just felt like it's something that over other places like overlooked mm -hmm. and it's something that shouldn't be giving back to the community always progressing forward and just like that was really important and I feel like he always takes care of his players, and I was able to get around players on my visit, and um, especially Lucas Fennessy, he helped me out. Uh, Danny Sturgow, I talked to them, I remember, on my visit, and they really just, like, showed, like, how it, the row of the boat is for a player. It wasn't just football for you growing up, was it? No. What else were you playing growing up? So I played the normal basketball, baseball, and all that, but the big thing for me was volleyball. Really? Yeah. I, I, see, we don't normally get that answer. We don't hear about too many volleyball players, particularly on the men's side. Why volleyball? So my mom played um, okay. in college, and my dad uh, was a big beach volleyball player growing okay. up. Okay. So it kind of ran in my family, and then... That would make sense from Daytona Beach. Yeah, yeah. it kind of makes sense, yeah. Yep, so I played some beach tournaments uh, all summer, and then I would play uh, club and high school volleyball. Nice. Would you like the beach volleyball better or hardcore better? 
Uh, the beach. Yeah, there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would think so as well. Uh, do you get a chance to find a, a beach court around here in Minnesota during the summer? Um, we have them. It's just it's it's different when you're around the water. Yeah. After the game, <laughs> uh, you're sandy. Go jump in the water. Come back, play <laughs> another one. You also told me that you're a surfer. Yeah. And how long have you been surfing? I've been surfing since I was probably three or four. Whenever I could get on a board, my dad would just push me in, and I love it. There's nothing like it. But you are from where exactly? I'm from Ponce Inlet. It's a little south of Daytona, Daytona and, Beach. And what is it known for? Shark bite capital of the world. The shark bite capital of the world, ladies and gentlemen. And, but you seem to survive the shark bites over the years. Yeah. Luckily, I've been fortunate, knock on wood, to uh, not have any ex bad experiences. Um, you see them in the water, and they're kind of just there now. It's just home, and they're the locals. What has the message been like from the coaching staff, and what, is, what has the message been like among the players so far this week in practice? Yeah, so uh, the big message has been just always playing together. Uh, last week, we kind of pulled apart in the fourth quarter, and that can't happen, and we're a unit, and we always just got to pull together. And then the other thing is just responding. Every play is its own, its own situation, and every play we got to just... Whatever happened on the last play, good or bad, wash it and get to the next play.